Hey guys, this is Uncle Ted, your ice cream alchemist, and as promised, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I make that gingerbread syrup. And, you know, like I said, I stole this recipe from someone named Sugar Pusher on TikTok. She is amazing. She does amazing work. If you're on TikTok, check her out. Honestly, her work is incredible, and I'm probably going to be stealing more of it from her, but I'm going to go ahead and tag her in this so that everybody knows who's who. But anyway... I made some modifications to this recipe and what I've done is I've thickened it up a little bit so that it works in other applications. So what I've got here is three quarters of a cup of brown sugar and then here in my spices I have one cup of white sugar then one teaspoon of powdered ginger, one teaspoon of cinnamon and then I've got half a teaspoon of nutmeg and one quarter of a teaspoon of allspice and so I'm going to go ahead and bring that to the party here and then we bring the liquid now this this is a third of a cup of molasses and what I did was I added a third of a cup of hot water to that and the reason I did that is so I could you know get it out of the container because molasses is really thick but this way I'll be able to just dump it in and it'll make things go a lot easier and I'll be able to get that in see how clean that is compared to what it would be so I got that in now I'm gonna put that on some really low temp I don't want this to get hot fast because then you're just gonna end up with a burnt mess so what I've done is I've got it on a low temp and I am gonna slowly bring this up all the while stirring. Now if this starts to thicken up too much or if you're getting sticking problems, no problem. Just go ahead and add a tablespoon or two of water to it. But you shouldn't have that because this will all turn into a really nice liquid. And so what I'm going to do is bring this up to temp and then we'll come back. Alright, so we have brought it up just almost to a boil. Once we have it at a boil, then we take it off the heat, we are done. Now be very, very careful, this is extremely hot. Melted sugar or hot sugar, that stuff is nasty. I actually burnt myself last month because I suffered greatly for you guys. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love to do it, but I pay a price. You wouldn't believe it. I'm covered in scars for you guys. But I love you that much. You know, I love you that much. But, yeah, be very careful, but once it starts to boil, take it off the heat, and you are done. Now, what do you do with this stuff? Well, honestly, take some of this, whip it with some room temperature butter, put that on your pancakes or waffles, it's amazing. I'm actually going to use this to make a gingerbread cream cheese frosting, and you saw me use some whipped cream. I uh, whipped up some heavy cream into Stiff Peaks, added some, and I had gingerbread whipped cream topping which goes great on hot cocoa and a few other things. So be creative. This is a building block for wonderful creations. Remember folks, if you're not eating ice cream every day for breakfast, what's the point of being an adult? Love ya!